beautiful. Okay. Hey guys, welcome, welcome. Happy you are here. Let me just fix some things. I can hardly see. <laughs> uh, I hope everything's going great for you guys. Um, I wanted to do this video for, um, because many of you or many of you may be thinking, uh, Klein had asked me this question, so I wanted to um, do a video because I don't think I could have answered it um, just typing in a way. I don't think that's enough. Um, so I wanted to do a video and I guess to share it with everybody else because maybe there's other people thinking the same way, like with this particular um, the vaccines coming, the different phases of vaccines that um, they are trying to put out there. Um, how's, how are you supposed to deal with that? How are you supposed to, um, you know, work through that? What are you supposed to do? How are you supposed to handle it? Um, what are some things you have to do so that you can build yourself up? Um, and so forth. So I thought it was a really great question. And, um, if you guys feel the same, give me a thumbs up. Um, you know, let me know, heart it up or something. Let me know if you guys are thinking that as well. So I wanted to do a video um, and also uh, so we can talk about it. And it's a lot to cover and it's a lot of information. I definitely, um, I definitely realize like not everybody can do this. Not everybody um, understands what to do um, or if or the feeling of anxiety is coming up and they feel like I can't handle this at all so I think it's a really great question I thank um, my client for posting this question to me and yeah so I wanted to dive in for those that are new to me welcome I am Najem Prasaya Lee I am a spiritual life coach health wellness consultant intuitive reader Reiki master I am an author of the book call Lee kill anxiety live immensely and I am a teacher a spiritual teacher over at spiritual sessions academy uh, and that's where I teach a lot of spiritual knowledge classes and also offer um, other courses as well, especially with meditation, guided meditation. I also offer private meditation. And uh, you can basically just click the link in my bio, uh, which is link.bio slash Najem P. Lee. Uh, that's in my bio right here on Instagram at Najem Lee. I hope you are following. If you are, great. If you're not, please do. Please just click follow. And uh, you can get all the information there of what I'm offering and, um, and more about the classes and how you can join in and be a part. Uh, and also, I will put down below, get onto our email list, the tribe, which is Team Spirit U. It's our new tribe. I'm so excited about it. Get on there because we're going to be starting up newsletters, tips, videos and things of that nature for those that are on the list who have joined the tribe and if you're part of the tribe awesome you'll get all these spiritual um, information that's going to help you on your spiritual walk all right so that's actually bit.ly slash e list 333 and it's all small letters bit.ly slash e list Three three three. Okay, one more time. Bit dot l y slash e list three three three. All right, all right. So I hope that helps. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, just DM me at Najam Lee. Absolutely here to help you guys and assist, serve in any way that I can. All right. Yes. Okay. So. A lot is going on, and uh, one of the biggest things that they are trying to do is put out there about um, vaccinations for COVID-19. Now, there's a whole lot of experts out there and a lot of experts coming forward um, that are discussing um, that um, there, with any flu virus, um, you have a big 
big burst and then um, the body and the air factor will adjust itself right the antibodies or develop new antibodies and different things like that like our body is equipped to do a lot of those things right and so um with that uh, a second round or third round the same thing is not going to happen right because the body will adjust it automatically will adjust anything that you breathe in it don't matter if you go to a different country your body will adjust right it will the body will shed what it needs and create um, a new protector for the immune system to work with the immune system to help adjust, right? It doesn't matter. So it's the same thing. Any change in the air, change in the food, change in um, the water or whatever, your body will take the time to adjust as always. And knowing that factor, it's a process of believing in your equipment, believing in your body that it will do the thing it needs to do to build up the antibodies, build up the protective shield it needs within the system, which I'm talking the immune system, to protect itself. And how can you help protect yourself is to help build up your immune system. Your immune system is the warrior of the body. Your immune system is the fighter, the soldier, who will be on the front line to battle. That's your immune system. So taking um, vitamins such as um, uh, everything that needs for the body, especially vitamin Bs, vitamin, all the complexes of vitamin B12s. You want an intake of vitamin Cs. You want an intake of vitamin D. Be the best vitamin D is to go outside. Go outside, even if it's for 5, 10, 15 minutes or longer. Go outside. If the sun is shining, awesome. If the sun is not shining, it's okay. The sun is there. Go outside get some air, you know, at least allow the air to wash over you. Allow yourself to be on the grounds of Mother Mother Earth and get that energy coming through. Don't have anything rubber on. If you can, if you can at least do barefoot, if you're where you're, it's warmer where you are, go barefoot on the grass. Get all that energy pulsating through the soles of your feet that comes all the way up through your body. And what the earth does is it will take out what does not necessary for your body, all the waste, the toxins, the ama, and it will infuse what it needs healthier for your body, um, healthier energy and um, better oxygen movement, better blood circulation and so forth, that healing. And so when you connect to the earth, and with the sun in the sky, so I, I look at it as connecting to, to Mother Earth and all the way up into Father Sky, that connection. Then you are getting both worlds of the sun coming, rays coming down onto you and the healing of Mother Energy, the Earth coming up into you. And that's a whole scaling of healing right there that will just shower you and cover you. If you can do that every day, right? Go outside, go into nature, go into the forest. If you're not able to go to a forest and you got a tree near you, you know, go hug the tree, stand by the tree, get rooted by the tree. The grass that's on the ground, um, a little garden, you know, backyard, get rooted in it, right? It's absolutely absolutely great for you um the other thing i would suggest uh is releasing right when you're walking out um, into mother nature is to release let go let go of your anxiety let go of your stresses let go of everything that's actually um hurting you or piling on you right i i, I can't stress that enough of Sometimes I understand that the bar, bar the the um, the obstacles and the push of other people 
um, outside forces like the media, um, and just this feeling of doom, you know, especially they're utilizing the energy or the season of winter. Season of winter always brings in uh, this low frequency, right? Because actually the season of winter is the season of death, right? Um, where hibernation happens, where um, things shut down, things are gloomy, things are dark, right? The sun sets earlier, uh, the place gets dark earlier, right? Um, and it feels like you're in darkness majority of the time. It can pull a dampener on the spirit. It can make the spirit feel, uh, or the human, the human mind feel really, really sad, really low. But what you want to do is counteract that even for five minutes every day, 10 minutes going outside into nature. Thank you guys. I love the hearts going into nature, right? And spending time. You know, something I did th today, I went into the um, outside and the wind has been kicking up. The wind has been blowing. So I greet all the elements. I greet the element earth. I greet element air, element fire, element water, element ether. I do that every day, right? Um, so today, who was majority was the air right blowing and everything like that and then i saw the peak of the sun coming through and i stood there closed my eyes and breathe in all the air and it got stronger and stronger and stronger you know and feeling it this release at some point i go into a meditative state right i don't care who's looking you can be driving i don't care i stopped and i'm just like okay let me take in the sun let me take in even the certain glimpses of the rays of the sun while the wind is blowing hard and I just allow myself to fly right um and what does I do clears clearing my chakras right clearing any stale energy that's clinging on to the body right clinging on to the mind clinging on to the spirit emotion or whatever um and taking in the energy the ray energies of the sun um it's powerful right and it feels good and doing that resets the body resets the mind um and gives you an energy it makes you feel elated like okay i can do this i can do this today no matter what um so those are some things physically you can do now the other thing you can do is Social media. I understand social media, and I understand, like, on one part, they're putting out a lot of information where they're trying to help people, a plus, right? And that information, if you can handle the information, awesome. But if you can't handle the information, turn it off. Like, literally turn it off. Turn off your notifications. Turn off your TV. Like, if there's movies you like to listen to, you know, have them on repeat, if there's shows that you like to listen to or watch, have it on repeat, right? You don't need news every single day, 24 hours, seven days a week, 365 days a year. That's a programming. All that is programming. It programs you to the point where it um, leaves you powerless. It does not leave you powerful. And if you find yourself feeling powerless, turn it off. Just turn it off. Nothing can happen unless you want it to happen. So what I'm saying to you is unplug from the matrix. Unplug from it, right? Because it's not doing you any justice. It's not. If it's too much for you, delete it, right? If it comes on your feed, delete it. Why? Nothing can happen unless you want it to happen. Nothing can happen in your life unless you desire it to be in your life. That's how it really works, right? What um, these, how should I call them? These robots, <laughs> empty vessels, want you to plug in, want you to stay plugged in, give them the attention. When you give them the attention, they draw upon your energy. That's how this works drawn upon your energy 
when you unplug, you turn around and you are doing your thing and you're not even concerned back here at all. They're like little kids. Hey, hey, did you check about this? Did you see about that? They do that with ads. They do that with things popping up all over because now you're not giving them no attention, right? So now they're gonna try to give you attention. Like, hey, remember you were over here. Did you forget? Did you lose your mind? You know, remember what we were talking about? Remember what I was showing you? Hello, 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 right? To get you plugged back in. Plug into you now. Go within you and sit within yourself. Sit with the connection of self. And that means connecting with your ancestors. Connect with your ancestors. Your ancestors, a lot of people think the ancestors are long gone, done, whatever. Absolutely not. A lot of your ancestors are always going to be sitting with you or they stand outside waiting for you. Right, it's waiting for you to be like, hey, come on in. I got shit for you to do. <laughs> you know, um, a lot of them are here because they're assigned to you and they want to work. Most people, or a lot of people, I would say, will just honor their ancestors and they cool with that. Yo, thanks for the honor. Thanks for all of that. But I got work to do. Like, I got to get to the next level. Same way I'm here, assigned you to help you get to the next level. So put them to work. Put them to work, okay? Stop worrying about outside of you. Go within you, because this is where they start from. Within you is where they start from. So connect with them. Like this morning, I use a little bowl that, I'm, that I learned about, and I call upon them. And um, I call them into my spacing and say, walk with me today. These are the things I'm working on. These are the things that I got to get done. If I'm going on the street, I call them, yo, go ahead of me. Lay out the direction. Make sure everything great when I get to my destination. You know, that'll be a smooth way, smooth destination. And also when I come back, you know, go ahead of me, right? Just make sure everything crisp, everything cool. Um, and they will do it. They want to work. You got to let them work. They're not over there. Remember, over there they don't sleep, y'all. They're in a vessel that they don't, they're not in a human vessel anymore. Okay? They don't sleep. They're up. Give them stuff to do. While you sleep, have them go over where you want to go. Right? This is what I'm working on. This is what I want to do in the future. This is what I want to do the next six months. Yo. Get this person aligned, this aligned, that aligned, that. So when I'm ready, it'll just, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to make it happen. You have the power for that, right? You have the power for that. So call them in. So in this case of the crisis, you call upon your ancestors. You say to them, yo, I need you to work on this, which is shield my, shield my family. Each one of them that know no illness or disease come upon them. And you do it every single day. Surround them. They're going to be in this environment. If they go to work, clear out, remove any toxins, remove anything. And a lot of times what will happen is if there is something or you about to drink something, which has happened to me many times, or um, you about to eat something and then your food drops or your drink spill, that's your answer. Say, hell no, don't drink that. Don't eat that. Go get something else. It has happened even recently for me. And I remember I got mad because I was so thirsty. And I was like, oh, I'm so freaking thirsty. And I needed that. And there, poof, whole tank of drink spilled everywhere. And it happened several times. And I was like, okay, I got it. I got it. I am going to go somewhere else and get me something to drink. Right? Call them in and just be open to it. Be open, right, for them to do what they what you want them to do. They want to work. They want to do things. You know, it's all cool and everything. You call them in and everything like that and honor them and stuff. But after that, they're like, all right, stop. Stop. So I'm here. What? 
right? <laughs> Let me do something. You know, what you working on? I want to know. You know, if you're if you're in school and you have a hard subject or something like that, call them in. Who in my family and my lineage of bloodline is good with this subject? Say, for instance, math. They call you in to help me. Yo, they'll come up. They're excited. They're like, yeah, hell yeah, I can do this. This is what you knew. And just being open because they go to show you, right? You'll get answers. You'll get direction. You'll just know, right? It's them working with you. So in the case of COVID, can I say COVID on this thing? I don't know. In the case of this pandemic, nothing can happen when your ancestors and your guardians are around. Those, especially those that are assigned to you. You call them in and you put them to work. You call them in and you say, remove whatever that nothing comes into this barrier. Nothing happens. What are the things that I can do to help my body? Boom, you'll notice, you'll be like, all of a sudden it's, it's an energy and an urgency of go get this, buy this, drink this or whatever. And it, it may not feel like it's coming from you, it's coming from somewhere within. So sometimes it's from behind because a lot of them stand behind you or they'll stand beside you, right? Unless you say to them, like I do, yo, come visibly in front of me. Let me see you because I can see, right? So I was like, I want to see you walk in front of me. Let's just make this happen. Just show me. Stop. I don't want to know... I want, I want to see everything. I want to know everything. If you dare, you dare. So a lot of times I do see them. So um, I want them to come in front of me. Um, but if you can't handle that, it's fine. Um, but have them show you. So like, for instance, the vitamins. Like, that's heavy on me right now of getting certain vitamins. So vitamin B complex is really good. Vitamin C complex is really good. Um, you want to get... Uh, the um, there's elderberry elderberries um, is good for the immune system. You want to get uh, zinc. Zinc is really great, um, and you want to be eating healthy. So you want to be at least consuming. So it's winter time, so you want to eat a lot of earth foods, right? So earth foods, I would say like potatoes, squash yams, um, sweet potatoes, carrots, all those foods that grow in the ground, you want to be consuming a lot more, right? During the winter time, it helps with not only um, grounding you, right, to the earth, but also protecting you from the elements and the colder elements, right? Hi, oh, thank you. <laughs> wow, this is powerful. Thank you, daddy. Um, the other thing you can do um, is really implementing a lot of water, like really um, up in your intake. Something that I do, which is great too for the body, is um, implementing lemon or lime into your water. Sometimes I do a teaspoon of vinegar. What I want to do, I'm trying to clear out, flush out any toxins out the body or any toxins that's remained in the body, right? So that I'm not creating so much mucus in the body, right? The less mucus, the more healthier the body is. So you want to get as much of the mucus out your body, especially wintertime is mucus season. Why? Because that's where colds, flus, you know, pneumonia, bronchitis, all these things. They're really hoping that people become that sick so that when the releasing of this virus, uh, you, it'll just attach and just like, oh yeah, just grow on up, you know, and kill your ass. But um, the thing is eating good, eating good food, drinking a lot. And with this shift that's happening, um, okay, so we have shifted from 4D and we're going into 5D or five dimensional frequency, right? So we are um, elevating our consciousness up, right? We are moving towards up. That's what 
we supposed to have been at seven dimensional frequency a long time. But with the forces of this particular dimensional frequency wants to keep people at a certain level, keeping humans at a certain level and chained, bound, right? When we're supposed to be elevating, every, every other planet has elevated except us. Uh, how is that? All the other plants have elevated except for us. Does, does that make sense? Right? We're tripping about. We're seeing, you know, unidentified flying objects. They have elevated except for us. They're looking at us like, what is wrong with you? You know, you're scared of what? Bigger technology? Better technology? And you guys are not elevating all this time? We've created all these different things and you still not elevated. You know what I'm saying? So we are elevating, you know, we are elevating and I'm going to be the honest, bare truth right here. Some of us are going to be on the right and some of us are going to be on the left. What do I mean by that? Some of us are going to wake up the next morning and be by ourselves. And what does that mean? Some will be left in the three-dimensional frequency and others will elevate to the fifth-dimensional frequency, right? There's going to be many of us who are shifting, right? Shifting meaning when I started shifting was pounding headaches, like massive, hard, core headaches like in the front right here and then in the back area right here pounding 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 headaches and then um it started into uh like some other people they got that they also felt like um they couldn't eat right it was just like no feeling for eating any food at all. So a lot are drinking a lot, just a lot of drinks. I see things differently these days. I am, yeah, absolutely. You're so right. Um, there's ones that don't even want to be around others at all. Like isolation is key for them right now. Um, for for others, it's like. Um, they can't do the same job anymore, right? Whatever they're doing, um, I know like some who were probably teachers working with students and working in the classroom. Now they don't want to even want to, nope, no kids, no people. I don't want, nope, mm -mm, they're changing direction and doing something so far out different. Some have become artists. Some have been um, just doing like, light stuff like none of that like total opposite like they had the heart of you know teaching and that nurturing frequency they don't have that no more no more it's like I'm done with that for me I became very very sensitive in my my smell I can't take any meat I can't take the smell and my senses especially for um, smelling, has, um, has uh, how would I say, um, started a few years back. I started knowing, noticing this shift. And I did all kind of tests. I went to all kind of doctors. I tried to figure it out. And they were like, oh, everything's fine. Everything's fine. And I, and I don't know what it is. I can't take it. I can't take any scent, any um, scent, of meat, no meat. I can't take chicken. I can't take fish. I can't take pork. I can't take none of those smells. I hate it. Like I hate it, right? It's a turn off. When I walk into the house, cause I live with people who, you know, I can't tell them what to do. They're going to do what they want to do. But for me, uh, I'm an incense freak. I will burn incense from the moment I get to my doorstep, lighting and then going in with it and lighting up the place like fire, fire, fire me with air, 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 incense. Um, because the smell 
really reeks for me. It reeks. Um, so I can't take it. Even though, like, you know, nah, I just can't. I just can't. I can't anymore. So for a lot of people, their senses have changed. Um, for a lot of people, they can't eat heavy foods like that anymore. They're mostly going into a lot more um, fruits, vegetables, um, or earth foods. Uh, what else? And um, some people with herring are very sensitive now, even. Uh, they can't take... Um, they can't take a lot of talk, right? They just can't take a lot of talk. Like the vessel that's being shifted is coming into a frequency of a lot of love, a lot of higher um, vibrations of love and lighter. So it's almost like, you know, when a child is born, comes into this new frequency, yo, people are wondering why are they crying so much? First of all, you're loud. <laughs> They're coming from a space of, quiet and then enter into a frequency of noise does a lot to the airs it's too much right um you know light that's why they're blind for a few months right the adjustment to this frequency is a lot on a human baby form a lot and a lot of adjustments because it's a new being or it could be an ancestor coming through and they're just like I, I can't take it it's just too much remember you're coming from a high elevated state coming into a lower vibrational state that's a lot of changes and that's a lot of like why the hell am I here again type of attitude and I'm in this particular family who is so noisy or so loud and I I'm in this like why did I choose them <laughs> you know all these things when a newborn, what it used to be done, and now this is taking me back to Nibiru, right? So if you know Nibiru, if you don't know Nibiru, it's okay. Um, if everything was in a cocoon, right? Cocoon. In a in a format, in a spacing of quiet, stillness, and surrounded with care. Cocooned, right? It was quiet. I think a movie did something like that. I think it was called Cocoon. They took that from Nibiru, right? That cocoon of the being being in there. You know, I know they took the movie way out to something else, but that piece is coming from Nibiru, okay? And the baby used to be fully in there. The energies, everything needed within there for the child. You just... You just watch it. You just guide it. You just love it. That's it, right? No infiltration of the outside world. No infiltration. So even when it's born, it's in this spacing of quiet at all times, okay? Um, in this peace, right? And being, being loved and looking after the spirit of that being first, the spirit, what did you come here to do? What's your blueprint? Let's really look at these things. Like, this is forgotten, right? What we do now, they born. Somebody, some priest come into the room. You allow it. Oh, I want my baby blessed. Your baby's already blessed. Why do you need another marking put on the baby? Like, come on. You know? Anyways, I'm, I'm let me... Let me pause because <laughs> I'll go in a different direction. But my whole point of this video is to enlighten you and let you know nothing at all can happen without your permission. So with them saying they're going to bring in armies or military, right, to come and force um you know, taking of a vaccine, my thing is, what do you want to do? Right? What do you want to do? The vaccine is a camouflage for the chip, y'all. That's all that is. The vaccine is a camouflage for the chip. 
if usually a vaccine, it takes five years to create a vaccine and another five years of testing it properly. So within a 10 year span, they have this vaccine that they know works on humans properly, right? They have done videos showing a black man taking the vaccine and what happens? Blow up of the tongue and now he can't speak correctly and they're saying, oh, his speech will get back. Bullshit, guys. Bullshit. So, again, are you ready to do what you have to do? What are you going to do? Are you going to, like in a vision when I was a kid and I saw a movie as well, and this was a movie back in the 70s, okay? Okay. And I remember having a vision at the uh, around the time I was a kid about the divide, okay? It was about the divide. It was military. What I saw was these earth went desolate, okay? And there were humans and then there was military. These military were trying to press at the time what it was showing like a pressing going on into the wrist, okay? Some took it to the back, okay? Others took it to the wrist, okay? And ones, there were ones who were fighting, ones who said, no, I am not taking your fucking chip. And those who didn't take the chip they shot him on the spot. They used it as an example to the others. Okay, so shoot, bop, mm-hmm. Are you gonna take the chip? Others who were frightened into taking the chip took the chip. Now, so then it comes to, are you afraid of death? Are you afraid of death? When you have been recycling, coming, coming, coming over and over again. So the question is, are you afraid of death? If death is inevitable. inevitable. Now, what I'm about to say, I'm talking to my, my, my melanin people, right? I want to say something really deeply. We talk about rights, our constitutional rights. First of all, we have no constitutional rights. Those rights are not for us because we are listed or people of color are listed of three-fifths of a human. We're not even human to them. We are still animalistic. So how can an animal be a part of the human rights? So these particular rights has nothing to do with you. These are their rights. They talking about, about among each other. We have no rights. We don't even have a representative who even signed the Constitution. We have no black people that signed the Constitution. I'm not American, but I did look this up. Right? There are no representative of the black American to sign the constitution that represents the black community or the black American community. So since there's no rep signed, what rights do you have other than you are considered still on their paperwork that has never changed. Okay? We don't want an addendum. We want a change. Right? And that change should be that you are human. Okay? Y'all need to become human. You're still looked at as animal, animalistic. You're only considered something for the requirement, whatever they need, such as voting. 
Okay, and that B of a man talking about if it wasn't for the black community. Bullshit. Bullshit. All right? So I want you guys to wake up a second. So fuck that about, you know, our rights in Pete upon. First of all, we got no rights. So it's about remembering who you are and coming back to the home of your ancestors. Connecting with your ancestors, going to the home of your ancestors. They have been waiting for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years for your return. This was never your place. Remember you were stolen? You were stolen? Your stolen property? Remember? And because of that, you're wandering. We have no location here. We're just wanderers. And because of that wandering, it has fucked up our minds. Because we have no sense of belonging. And hoping and wishing and wanting to belong. When home is still like waiting for you. So we want to go back to, <laughs> want to go back to understanding, right? What to do. So in my vision, what also happened was waking up to those who crossed over to the fifth dimensional frequency woke up to the fifth dimensional frequency and disappeared from this spacing, the third dimensional frequency, okay? Those are gonna be left behind, gonna be left behind by themselves. Meaning, if you have, or if you're in a family member group or roommates or whatever, some roommates will disappear while you're tender. Some, your father may disappear. Or you may disappear and your father still stay here in the third dimensional frequency. Your mother may stay here in the same dimensional frequency. And maybe your brother and sister move over to the uh, fifth dimensional frequency. But make, make note that those that are stayed here will be in the third dimensional frequency. And those are the ones that will be chipped. So... The phases of the vaccine is simply phase one of placing the vaccine. Because usually vaccines, you just need one vaccine if it's a pandemic or if it's a crisis like that. Okay, like let's let, let's think. If, if it's a crisis, oh, we, you just need one, y'all. You just need a flu shot. You just need one. But they're saying phases. So this sounds like maybe more than two. It sounds like three, maybe ultimately three, they're going to try to do it in. So phase one, prep the body. Phase two, insert the chip. Phase three, activating the chip. Now, you're your own person, right? So without the chip, what they created as without the chip, you can't go shop. You can't go to the grocery store. You can't even pay your damn bills. Right? You can't get access. You can't use a phone. Right? You can't get gas. They're going to do all kinds of, they're setting up a new system. Right? They tested it out by putting the chip on your card. And you've been testing it for them. Right? Using it. No longer having to use cash like that. You know, you really don't need to use your bank like that. You got the chip on your card. You can do everything on your card. Or now, pop, you got your phone. Now, you can do everything on your phone. You don't even have to enter the bank. Right? They set it up where you got to make an appointment now to get into your bank if you're going to do a transaction, if you really need to get to the bank. They have started that. Make an appointment because of the pandemic. 
I want you to wake up here. You have, by universal law, the right to fight for the being, the vessel that you are in. You are the custodian of this vessel. Not them, not the outside. You are the custodian of your vessel. You have to protect your vessel. Okay? You. So if that means of not only making sure physically you're okay, physically you're great, physically you can combat whatever's out, but you have to speak up for your vessel because you are the custodian of this. So that's why I go back to the question, what do you want to do? And are you afraid of death? And then actually understanding what death is and why you're afraid of it since you've cycled here so many times so it comes down to are you going to bow to the upcoming upcoming new 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 um uh new force Or you're going to protect this no matter what, even if you cross over. You can't allow anything unless you allow it. Okay? Because you are the custodian of your vessel. It is up to you. So if you elevating yourself, elevating your frequency, elevating your consciousness, rise up above this third, fourth dimensional frequency, then this vessel transitions into the vessel is needed of that frequency in order to combat whatever they're trying to do. Right now, they're trying to combat the mind. If they combat the mind, it can keep you here. You got to elevate and rise above that with the highest love frequency and knowledge intellect that you have within yourself or you learn from others who have higher in order to know what to do. Take it in. Rise up. Meditation is needed. You've got to meditate. Right now, they're trying to do everything that you don't meditate. They're trying everything you do to do. Don't go outside. Just don't go outside. Fudge that. Go outside. Go in front of your house. Go in your backyard. Get the sun Get the energy. Plant your backside on the ground, on the, the, the grass, right? Take in the energy of the soil, of Mother Earth, and of Father Sky coming down, that sun beam. Raise up your the, the immune system, right? Taking in all the vitamins you can get, including... Everything for your immune system, vitamin Bs, the B complex, vitamin Cs, vitamin Ds. Vitamin D you can go outside and get. You just have to spend time outside. 15, 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Okay? And stuff. And then you can do whatever else you want to do. You know, but... Eating properly, eating healthy foods, as much organic as you can or whatever organic you can get, right? Because what they have been doing is removing the seeds. If you don't eat food with seeds, you're not eating healthy foods. You're eating robot food. Seeds carry coding dna coding seeds carry dna coding coding for the body coding that's needed for the body when you grow food with no seeds you get no coding for the body you get nothing no information needed for that vessel that vessel is like a ship if you do not know the coordinates or you don't feed the coordinates, you don't upgrade the coordinates, you don't do any of that, you are an empty vessel. 
You are not able to move. You're not able to do the things you're supposed to do. You are now having to go other ways to get that upgrade, that coding needed in the bloodstream for the DNA to raise up that vessel. So what these humans have been doing is removing the seeds. So now you're eating seeds, eating food with no seeds. How are you eating watermelon with no seeds? How are you eating, you know, oranges with no seeds? You're eating grapefruit with no seeds. Huh? Eating bananas with no seeds. You know? Look how they've been stripping the DNA. Look how they've been stripping the codes of the vessel. Through the codes, through the seeds, you get the codes. The codes for the body. The codes needed to end, to evolve the body, to make the body strong, to make the body more equipped, right? Each year, if you notice, a tree dies, a tree reborns. The same tree, but it comes even better, even stronger, even mightier. And then you pick the fruit from that tree, it comes into you. Your body gets stronger. You get the DNA coding. They have removed it by removing the seeds. Now you, especially melanated people, you don't get the seeds. We're going to knock them out this way. They're not going to get the seeds. Nah, we don't want them to get that code. The code, that vital code. Remember in Matrix, I need the code. Remember him the way he was with, with Morpheus? I need the codes to get out of here. I need the codes. The codes is in the seeds. The codes is in the seeds. Local farmers is where you need to go to. Local farmers is your key. If you can link with a local farmer, awesome. So I'm giving the other part, go outside, sit with nature, be in nature every day if you can. If you live in a warmer climate, go to the ocean, dip in that sea water. Oh my God, go to the sea, go to the river, dip in with the sun. You have it right there at your hands. You have it more so than those in the north. So I hope this is helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, post it up. I remember there was one question. Hold on, let me see. So when you say wake up alone, you don't mean literally, right? No, I do mean literally. Who is that? Batty? Yes, I do mean literally. In the vision that I had, and in this other movie that I saw, the shift, when you elevate the body... And the body elevates. We're supposed to be already on seventh dimensional frequency. We have a long time supposed to be on that, right? But because of the chaining, right, that has been going on, third dimensional frequency for so long, that we have not risen, right, evolved the body. So anyway, that they try to remove evolvement of the body has slowed us down. So they're talking about more radiations coming. Yeah, we can handle radiation. You got dark melanin, you darker than me, hallelujah. Okay, you good. You're really good. Right, because we can handle that. We're sun beings. We're walking sons of light. We are walking sons of light. Okay. We're walking suns. So we can handle it. It them doing that can't handle it. They can't handle it. But they're trying to weaken the body, weaken the body for um, you to take in whatever they're trying to make. A lot of stuff they're making is not for our body, 
our our makeup of our vessel is absolutely different so whatever you're trying to do is really not meant for us but we get caught up as if it is meant for us it's not really meant for us it's meant for them but they need the codes <laughs> we have the codes we have the codes right and how the codes come into us is through many different ways. But one of the biggest ways, because we're on this vessel, is what we eat. So, um, why do you mark your third eye? Well, I am a blend of Indian and African and all kind of other stuff. But marking my third eye is basically um, me remembering uh, my true self, but also too, it's a it's a shield, it's a protection. Um, so when we put this on, a lot of times it's not only to mark, you know, yes, um, my spiritual walk, my connection. Um, but also it's a shield of protection of the third eye because um, when this is open, thank you, when this is open um, or not shielded, it feeds, it, you know, people can, or energies can feed in, right? Energies can feed in. So, oh, you're welcome, cat. Um, and so we protect it, we shield it. I don't need nobody coming in. It's the same thing on your um, on your phone or on your computer, right? You have the recorder or the eye on the phone or the eye on the computer. You know, you want to tape it. You want to shield it. They don't need to see you, right? They don't need to see what you're doing. You know, even though they say, oh, it's off. It only turns on when you want it on. No, <laughs> that's a bogus lie. <laughs> okay, bogus. Um, so if you don't want them seeing, if you're not doing anything, you don't, and you're cool, then cool. But um, if you like, you know, whatever, just shield it, shield it up. So I shield mine, I shield mine because why? This is a receptor, it's an opening, right? Um, this is frequency, this is how I breathe. When a child is born, they are, they're breathing from, not the nostril, they're breathing from the third eye and the pituitary. These are the two areas that you breathe from. This is a normal capacity of breathing, right, of taking in the air. When you take in the air a certain way, you're taking in downloads. And when you're able to take in those downloads, you are then generating the body, right? When you generate the body that way. Uh... Hey, Shy. Oh, so it's best to to just stay calm, follow my intention, and grow. Yeah, it's just best to stay calm. The more excited that you are, the more elevated that you are with, oh, my God, and creating fear, conjuring fear, then that's their bucket list, right? So the more fear you have, you then, okay, think about it this way. What happens, where does that energy go when you have fear? Where does it go? I want you to think. When we have ener this energy of fear, it has to go somewhere. Because fear releases out. So when fear is released out, right, you are conjuring and coming in. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God right? It goes out. Fear goes out. And then with them, these particular beings, they feed off of ener of this energy. They feed off of fear. So let's give you an example. 9-11. Kaboom. Right? The buildings go, oh my God, the plane going into the building. Oh my God. All that conjured of fear from the whole entire world, right? They were able to feed like vampires, okay? Fear doesn't stay in. 
fear generates and goes out like a wheel okay and goes out it spins and spins and spins and they sit there and they're like thank you thank you for feeding me thank you thank you and it's a way of coming in and latching on oh this is a good one right here scare her get her worry worry her worry him get him going get him going And they just like, okay, good. We're going to get dinner today. These particular beings, these are cold entity beings come here or are ruling or in these positionings, right? I'm not even talking the president because the president is just a puppet, okay? I'm not talking about any of them people. I'm talking about the orchestrator behind that, right? The orchestrator the or the orchestra is the ones we don't see. We hear them, but we don't see them, Right? When a um, a theater act, Broadway, if you've been to a Broadway show, you never see the orchestra, okay? But you hear them, okay? Same thing, right? You see the puppet. You see the, the characters on stage. But who is orchestrating it? So I'm not talking about the president. I'm not talking about the vice president. I ain't talking about them people. I'm talking about ones who are orchestrating, the conductors, they're the ones that feed. And these are not human beings. These are non human beings, okay? This is how they feed. This is where they get their energy. This is how they move. This is how they're able to grow and grow and grow. You're a massive walking ball of fear. This, okay? So you got to remove your fear. Got to let it go. You got to ask yourself, what am I afraid of? What's the fear coming from? What's the core of my fear? And then you deal with it. What's the core of your fear? And deal with it. If you have my book, I do talk about that in the Kill Anxiety Live Immensely. I do talk about that. You can get the book. Uh, just click the link on my bio and scroll down. It's called Kill Anxiety, Live Immensely. There's a section there I do go into breaking down anxiety, breaking down your fear. What is the fear? Right? You got to really ask yourself, what's the fear? Write it down. What's the fear? What are the possibilities of the fear? Because fear is an illusion to weaken the soul. Weaken you. Weaken you. Weaken the mind. It's just another construct. Right. So there's fear that there's a type of fear or energy that's supposed to able to push you. Right. So I'm going to take care of this. I'm going to make this happen. Like, you know, you have stage fright. You may speak or whatever. Oh, my God, I got to speak to this thousands of people and you get this palpitating energy. But you go to do it. You got to conquer it. But then there's a fear that goes beyond that where we sit in it. And I don't want you to sit in fear. Because all they do is feed. And in order to feed, generate more fear. The moment you turn your back and don't even indulge, they panic. Oh my God, well, how are we, how we going to do this now? You know, how are we going to do this? Because it's not going to work for us. She's not, she's not even jumping anymore. She's not even, what are we going to do? At some point, they got to go. You're not able to feed. Don't feed off of me. You got the codes. You got to remember who you are. You have the codes. You have the codes. Nobody else. You have the codes. Each of us have the codes. You have the codes. Remember who you are. You're not this. pretty i like it that it's not it's this is not it i'm more than this right you're more than what it is don't let them mess up and twist up your mind okay don't let them do that go into nature go into nature go into nature all right nothing else matters
go into nature, go outside. When you don't go outside, especially melanated people, we weaken our bodies. We weaken our mind, okay? Our soul is attached to the sun. Our soul is attached to the sun, okay? We are walking sons of light, okay? Flames. Do not out there. Do not let them out your flame. Do not let them out your flame. Go outside. Okay. And I didn't say go outside with a mask. That don't make no sense. Especially if no one's around you and you're in nature. Okay. Because nature's always doing what? Filtering and producing what? Oxygen. HT, H2O. Right? It filters. Nature filters. So being in nature you're already in unfiltered air, filtered space. Do not let them confuse your mind. This is what plants do. This is what trees do all day, every day. Filter air. Do not let them twist your mind. Go into nature. That's the best air you're going to get. Go into nature. Do not let them twist you. This is what they naturally do. This is what trees, plants, flowers, herbs naturally do. Clear the air. Right? Just as we have crabs and shrimps clear the bottom of the sea, right? They make sure it's clean. They make sure everything great. As soon as something comes, they go, Oh, let me take care of that. Oh, let me take care of that. So if the sea has it, the ocean has it, the air has it, the air element, the water element, the fire element, right? the earth element, and the ether, you. Your body does it too. We breathe in oxygen, we breathe out the toxins. So the help we need is in nature. Just go into nature and breathe. Sit with the tree, hug the tree, get the energy the nourishment from the trees, sit with them, lay by them, root your feet by their roots. Do that. If you are able to do it every day, awesome. If you're not, don't worry. Just the moment of going outside, step in three, four feet from your house, from your from your front yard front door, or go into your backyard and touch the grass with your feet in a line up to the sun. And just stay out there for at least 15, 20 minutes if you got to work or whatever. If you can stay longer, awesome. But don't let them twist your mind. Because that's what they're good at. Twisting. Making you feel doubt. Making you feel like you don't trust your own inner being. Right? Not to listen to the soul within yourself. The higher being within yourself. Right? This is what Akhenaten was trying to say for a long time. Look to the sun. Fudge all that other stuff. Look to the sun. The S-U-N. Look to the east. Look to the sun. This is what Akhenaten's been saying thousands and thousands of years. I remember because I was there with him in the 17th dynasty. Look to the sun. Wake up with the sun. Breathe in the sun. You are the sun. You are the walking being. Okay, going outside, you got to go outside. Do not go outside 
with the mask on. You need the air. You want to go outside into nature. When you go outside into nature, nature is always fil filtering the air. This is what it does. It does this all the time, every day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Okay? It's clearing the air all the time. So when you want to breathe clean air, you go into nature. You go by the trees. Put your feet in the grass. Align with the sun. Take it in. Breathe in. Create the shift or the, the pillar of light that you are, right? The pillar of light that walks, that's on you, right? So you create yourself like a pole. Feet planted on the ground. Head to the sky. Breathe in and breathe out. Filter your body. Filter your mind. Release the toxins as it will do, Mother Mother Earth does, and Father Sky. And it will give you the vitamin D needed for the body. Okay? You want to hug the trees. Plant your feet on its roots. Right? Hug the trees. Lay on the trees. Plant your feet on its roots. Take in the energy. Breathe in the tree. Breathe out the tree. The tree carries so much power, so much beautiful energy that is healing. That's all it does. That's all it knows is to heal and to filter and do the things it's supposed to do and grow, whatever. So you want to go outside, okay? This is what it does. So you walking out your house with the mask on is foolishness. You're at your house. Who is six, six feet in front of you? Probably 10, 20, 30, 50 or whatever, you know? <laughs> you know? Don't let them fool you. Go outside. Go into your backyard, Okay? Go outside, go into the backyard, plant your feet on the grass, raise your head to the sky, breathe in, breathe out. Stay out there for 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, right? If you can stay longer, awesome. If you can't, you know, you got to go back to work, that's fine. But at least go outside every single day, outside every single day. Take in the air element. Take in the earth element. Take in the fire element, the sun. Right? Take in the fire element. Take in the ether. Take in. Take it all in. Right? Because you are a Vulcan vessel. You are connected to all of the elements the same way all the elements are connected, right? So that means if they're filtering, you can filter too. If you need help with filtering, just you go to them. Build up your immune system. One of the biggest things, we'll repeat it. Build up your immune system. Take in your vitamins. I'm not saying don't take the medicine. If you have medicine, you have to take, do that. But I'm talking about the immune system. Build the immune system every single day. Sometimes I take... Two vitamin C tablets a day, one in the morning, one at night. You know, take some zinc. You can do zinc once a week if you need to. You know, take it in. Right? Um, elderberries, you have um, echinacea, fenugreek, turmeric, you have ginger. Um, uh, milk thistle. Uh, there's so much great herbs out there. I mean, you know, just like if I were you, build up your cabinet with vitamins, herbal vitamins, as as many as you can, and have them. Nothing wrong in doing that. And take. Every day, just build up, build up your immune system. Because your immune system is the warrior of your being, of your vessel. It is the warrior. It's the soldier. 
It will fight. It is on the front line. It will fight. That is what it's trained to do. So you want to help it. You want to feed your soldiers good, right? You want to feed it really good. You want to enhance them really well. That's why eating as many seed foods as possible, foods with seeds in them, organic possible, if you can. I know they have done a whole lot with removing the seeds, but if you can find ones with seeds, awesome. Any other questions? Uh, I hope I hope I answered your question. I know use Maniga. <laughs> yes, yes, D, yes, D choice two. Yes, girl. Build up the immune system. All right. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm gonna save this video so you guys can watch it again, get some nuggets. Um, and I'll post this also on my YouTube. You guys can have it. But I love you guys. Don't do no worrying or fear. Don't let them don't let them feed on you. Feed yourself. Don't let them feed on you. <laughs> I love you guys. Namaste. You're welcome, my dear. You're welcome, you're welcome.